Hello, and welcome to another stream in which I feel compelled to know, no, I'm not apologizing for that title. Dear. What was your title? I'm just going to wait for someone else to look so I can hear the reaction. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, <laughs> gotta do what he wants to do. Okay, should we be able to just create a room? Yep. Also, a brief shout out to my dog, Biscuit, who when I went out to the bathroom while during the countdown, got up, parched his way into my room, knocked some stuff off the bed, and has pulled the blankets into a rudimentary nest for himself. You can't be over there, Biscuit. All right, checking the I'm intel for this mission. Hello, Biscuit. Okay. We got I Hornets. Gotta, I gotta play. I gotta play games for you right now. I have my hand back. Oh, damn! Can't use these. We got Hornets. We got Hives. And we got a new spider, the Aranea. All right, all right, all right. You can, you can stay, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna, up, go ahead. Gonna get rid of the want my bomber, so I have uh copters. Alrighty. Now, something you should know about the uh, Aranea is that this particular spider has a unique thread that grabs and reels in its victims. If you are grabbed by an Aranea, you will see a flashing red thread indicating where it came from. Until you kill that Aranea or damage it enough in some cases, you are not going anywhere. Now, that said, if I get grabbed by an Aranea, don't worry about it. Because, keep in mind, I'm a fencer with a big fucking sword and fist. Guess what happens to any <laughs> stupid-ass Aranea that decides to reel me in? What are we getting again now? Uh, we have Hornets, Hornet Nests, Pillbugs, and new enemy, Aranea. Large spider enemy that reels in its victims. Mm -hmm. Particularly dangerous to, fence to air raiders and wing divers. Oh, well, let's just have to pack a rapier then to deal with those guys. Oh, something you know about Araneas is their webs. Uh, they don't just use webbing to grab you. Most levels of Aranea will have webs pre-placed on the map that are effectively giant physical barriers you have to destroy to get past them. Anybody who touches one of these webs is stuck in it until it is destroyed. They can still shoot it, but they can't move. In some cases, they will even effectively use their webbing to create shielding to take the brunt of air raider airstrikes. Depending on the mission layout. Oh, and one more important thing. It won't be important here, but it will be later. Any mission involving Aranea where they have webbing between buildings, those buildings are now indestructible even after you destroy the webbing. Just something to keep in mind. Hmm. Also, fun fact, uh, Aranea in the pre in EDF4 was known as Retarius, named after a type of gladiator that caught enemies with nets. The distress signal is coming from around here. Biscuit, stop eating your paws. There's a monster around here that spindles thread. Up, oh, yup, I see exactly what you mean. Yep. 
Is that just a normal troop and not a wing diver stuck up there? Maybe. There should be other survivors. Keep looking. Thanks for saving me. And Aramean Nets do damage over time. So yeah, if there are soldiers caught in one, it is in their interest to destroy it as quickly as possible. Members from the missing team, find them. Watch yourself. It's coming your way. A monster's den. We'll destroy it and save all those captured. Did my blade reach this? The Aranea are monsters that make nets. They often catch prey and So what does this do? Um... Oh, you might want to get out of whoop, there. Whoop. <laughs> Sorry about well, that. If, if the wall had still been present, it would have blocked the shot. It would have taken damage from the shots. But I'm not sure beams actually pierce through solid surfaces. If we destroy the nets, we can save Uh-oh, we lost Slad. I, I see TD. Yeah, this level is kind of notorious for that. Because it's, a, it's on one of the maps that tends to give AMD cards a problem. I'm really hoping that whenever the whatever patch comes with the first DLC's release is also a bug fix patch. That's on the 29th, so it'll be for next stream. Yep. Bombing it. Oh, as in where I am. The Aranea spin nets to catch I do recommend pinging if you're pinging a spot if you're going to hit it with explosives. Relatively don't cause much damage. However, the threads are stronger than the beta subspecies. Countless soldiers have lost their lives fighting these. There we go. Okay, about time I get myself down there. Also, you might have noticed Araneas have very long reach with those threads. Consider them snipers for all intents and purposes. Bellbots! Heal over here, car needs it. Holy shit, Karn, you are in a yeah, bad way. I, Hang on. Where did I get hit? Nothing hit me. Oh, that's weird. Why jumping real quick? Get under a spider. Why did I jump? Supposedly that can help fix desync issues. Okay, yeah, on I my end, you have, like, no health. Same You're... here, but I've been standing up on a cliffside, basically chucking ordnance. Oh, okay. Nothing aimed at me, nothing shot at me. I have no idea where all this damage came from. Well, we got pillbugs here now. Maybe the game thought you were with the pillbugs. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, now something actually has me. Oh, shit. And I am sending machine guns after it. Nope, and another one caught me. I am coptering a net. Alright, I kind of got distracted holding back the pill bugs. 
research division is pumping out one ridiculous weapon after the next. A fun one over there. I've heard the rumors that we've got a real prodigy on our side. It's reassuring to know that. Yeah, nets are invincible. Just gotta kill the spider. No, they're not invincible. You can kill them. Huh. Can't can't target them though. Because they're not an actual living thing. Hey, you yeah, can actually here. destroy. Uh... Oh fuck, war gammas. So they were still in the ground. Watch out for gammas. I. Not sure if they're active or not yet. I'm walking away without risking it. You can launch again if you'd like to. I know my friend's alive. Let's oh, those pill bugs are definitely aggro. Be careful, by the way. If pill bugs lack a lock, a live, a direct live sight to you, they will you, they will bounce up high into the air and try to come down on your head. You know what? It's Nick's time. Oh, they can reach between buildings. Yeah, they can squeeze in a, into tight spots if they want to, aside from parking garages. Oh boy. They got me. They closed yep, in right as I was ready to get in my vehicle. Let's see what I can do about fending off these pill bugs, and I'll pick you guys up. There's not too many of them, so I can play tag with them for a bit. Feel free to get me second, and don't worry about healing. I got a vehicle to hop into. Okay. Because I am very close to it. As long as you don't bring the horde down on my head, I can just jump in, and I'll see if I can grab some help while I'm running amok. As far as I can tell, I think I've got... Everything is currently aggroed on the map is coming at me, so... Once I deal with it's on me, I should be able to pick you guys up, no problem. Okay, this mission works. We have a mixture of things that are aggro on spawn and not aggro on spawn. Oh, that's cute. The Serenaya thinks he's a threat. Oh, you want me to come closer? By all means, I will! Where you go? Where are you fucking going, huh? <laughs> Up you okay. go! Now I get in real quick. Uh, before we do any more combat, try to avoid enemies and focus on grabbing heals. I'll see what like I can I'm gonna find. need to, because I'm down to 122. At the moment, we don't have anything immediately attacking us, so we got a bit of breathing room. There's like one bug near me, but if I somehow aggro it, it'll aggro alone. I'll just blast it real quick.
This is all loot. I want heals. Okay, I seem to be okay right now. Well, I'm about to half. It'll have to do. All right. There's some stuff near me that may or may not be a heal. It will have to do? <laughs> oh yeah, I do see some green crates near you. Or, I think one of them's crates. an armor, but maybe the other if you're lucky. One's a small health, one's an armor, yeah. Okay, I'm close enough for now, and again... I'm in a mech that got kind of banged up. It only has 222. Well, we should be feeding you some more credits. You might be able to call it a fresh one soon. First things first. Let's um, assess the threat. I see a pill bug right in front of me. Also, something's trying to grab me. Apparently, it cannot pull me. There's an Aranea trying to snipe you. In a big stompy mech. Yeah, I got a Nyx out. Once you upgrade them a bit, they're actually pretty quick to come out. See if I can get rid of this. You have one to airstrike. Okay, looks like our Aridea sniper friend is on our left. Okay, if we're hitting that spot, it's going hot, so. Ready for anti-air combat. Okay, they got me out, but I'm not ready for a new Nyx just yet. Working on it. Excuse me, about the Sprite Ball a single spider. I should not have done that. That was a terrible idea. I somehow got away with it. I mean this nest. Oh yeah, let me send some copters at it. Sending killer copters towards it. The sooner we get that, the less extra lost we have to worry about. There we go. Destroy the flyer's nest. You mean destroy Ed, Ed? I do like oh. that a copter's enough to deal with that. Health near me. RPG, you should get over here. Um, what? I'll grant you to use this power again. Let's the Sprite Fall Lady scares me. Let's clear out those webs. Yeah, that's gonna block air support. I have copters, well they can help. Support. I'm lending missile support, but yeah, I'm not gonna have a clean shot at some of these things that web in the way. It there we go. God, I love the arcane. Okay, enemy count getting low. I'd say it is time to start looking for loot. I'm gonna sprite fall that. Oh, did it ask? And I'll send the copters after it. Just give it everything. It's gone. And I'm ready to bring down my next Nyx. I am summoning it now. I'm going to back up a bit. Again, Sprayfall Lady scares me. I mean, you did see that that, pit, that fan art I linked of artist interpretation of, right? Congrats. That I have not. I'll have to go look. 
It's just her laughing maniacally. Oh, with actually, an area in the background going, Mom. I'm actually a bit surprised she has not done the laugh yet, this mission. Because, yeah, according to EDF World Brothers, uh, Sprite Fall Lady is Air Raider's mom. Uh, I think we're down to just, like, one or two guys. Do a loot check. Two, yeah. Not much left. I've been grabbing a lot of it. Let me see if I can... Uh, I hate when it does this. Oh, I see armor. I see two armors. Yoink. The one problem, I get Nyx's are supposed to be slow, but every once in a while they do this thing where it's like they're not even getting up to their full speed. Target's locked. Send me the care package. I'm marching up towards one of them. That's a negative on the care package. I have a bad. My, I don't have an angle here. But that one. Got my eye on the last one. Ooh, almost, but not quite. Come on, don't do this. Um, hold on on him until the other one's dead. What is even over here? I don't know, I'm trying to find a way up to it. Because I can't even see it, otherwise I'd just pop out and drop a sprite ball. Well, whatever it is, I can hit it now. Oh, wow, it's, it's a friggin' Aaron nail on, like, the edge of the damn map. Uh, I can kind of see it now. I see, uh, yep, I'm looking right at it, and... This. It. Well, I actually can hit at it, that strike at it from that far away. Can't hit it, but I'm seeing my I'm seeing my stuff hit the mountain. That was a hit. I saw one hit. Yeah, I just saw I got another hit. Uh, I'm down to just a machine gun though. I got him, man. You can kill that thing. We're fine. That was a bit of a mess. <laughs> Hi, Phoebe. Yeah, surprise pill bug waves are a problem when they uh, are already aggro from the get go because then you got a bunch of killer bowling balls to worry about. Oh, hey, max reload speed on my katana. Nice. Yes, my katana needs to be reloaded. Don't ask. How do you reload a sword? I mean, I need to charge up my rapiers. Okay, this one is all anti-horde. Uh, elite black ants and pill bugs. Okay, that means Kemway's back. Some formation machine guns. Actually, let me get my vehicles a quick check. There will also be jellyfish here, but ignore them. We can't hurt them anyway. Jellyfish being the uh, big, the ships that drop off uh, tail anchors. Hmm, 
I have an upgraded Nyx, but I'd like to upgrade that a bit more so the points are close to what I have already. Oh wait, they'll also be spider they'll also be shock spiders here, but it's still yeah, it's pure Actually, horror. let me try this. So elite spiders, shock spot or sorry, elite elite ants, shock spiders, pill bugs. You know, I'm gonna be honest, when I tiled this screen, I was expecting to see no spiders Our whatsoever. I should have blessed. Breaking out the missiles. Don't get too close. I'm waiting for bigger hordes before I let the big guns out. It's too dangerous. Oh, don't worry. There'll they'll be more of them. Hmm. Terrain's in the way here. Gotta move up. I like the formation drones. Oh, hey, it's ready. Let's see how this works. Big beta swarm coming. I'm going to put a bomb Shock over fight. them. I'm putting a bomb over them. Yes, hey, if you're going to use your bomb, use it on that. FYI, that scout is fucked. We are so not saving him. Okay. What's this now? Sorry. Ah, using the napalm bomber again. Let me get up here so I can aim and stop. You remember that Vesta is a dot type bomber. It creates a wall of flame. Exactly. It's best to use a tactical emplacement where you know enemies are going to be swarming into as a sort of literal firewall. Okay, this is kind of neat. A little tricky to work with, but kind of neat. Ah, trying to tank? With a boar gun. That's surprisingly a thousand durability. This thing's oddly tough for a tank. All pill bugs over the hill, watch yourself. They are spread out pretty wide, so I'd say Hold let's on try on. pulling them in. I'd say it's time to go fishing. Hold on, on. And it one shot spiders, that's kind of neat. Yeah, that many pill bugs at once is not going to end well, but if we attack from the outer edge and work our way in, also, I'd say we have better odds. Also, I am experiencing something new and incredible to me speed. What's that? Speed. <laughs> Okay. Lead them all to the wall. I think this is piercing. It probably is. If it's, a, if it's a boar gun, it's a piercing guy. Not quite the Epsilon rail gun used by the Ranger. They, it's their version of that tank. But it's still pretty good. This would be nice if we had some bigger targets. That said, I am like Perfect. just sniping out pill bugs right now. Let me go grab some stuff. Not a bad idea. I'll backtrack to the start. You guys can get things under control here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, jump. One, two, three, four, jump. One, two, three, four, jump. Okay, nice. So I can get in a uh, endless set of inertial, inertial jumps as long as I make sure to jump on number four. Okay. 
It's all <laughs> heels over here. A lot of heels near me, by the way. Yeah, use some. I do wish there was a way to get rid of spent vehicles. They're almost oh, fight with you, Captain. The answer is yes. That would be nice if that was an option. Well, even Dinga. without the even without the ammo, it's still potentially armor. He can blow it up, blow, blow them up, or splash damn it. I got a couple. Sadly, right. exploding a vehicle won't hurt any enemies near it. Be kind of funny if it did. I mean, I'm in a tank, so I guess it's a way to move around real quick. But still, this place has promise. If we keep up our efforts, perhaps Actually, one you know day... what? Oh, we're done. And to... That was a nice, simple mission. I like that they tend to alternate what you do and actually give you a fair bit of variety. Oh, hey, this should be a familiar mission. Remember, remember the guys who wouldn't shut up about Napoleon? We're doing that again. But this time they actually bring some proper equipment. That said, we have got... Grenadiers, Cannonballs, and Armored Frogs. Okay, that means I should switch to machine guns for, like, a mortar. Yes, I can probably use it. I am going to bring my Gallic to help with the cannonballs and the armor frogs. But I'm also going to bring arcane launchers to help deal with the gr grenadier swarms. I'm gonna be a little nerf, I won't be able to do inertial jumps this setup, but I need I need the i I'm gonna need both of these, honestly. Like there's gonna be so much crap coming at us, I'm gonna need to keep down a constant uh spring stream of missiles when I'm not sniping. Hopefully with the dash cell I'll still have enough mobility to not be a liability. Is yeah, going without the ability to do inertial jumps is going to feel so damn weird. It'll be a little harder calling. Let me try my new Nyx out. Those that forgot, the inertial jump is a fencer technique where you do a boost dash, and then right as you do it, you also boost jump to get the inertia of the dash in your jump. I'm going to send a bomber out to that group, okay? By all means, these guys are aggro on immediate, yeah, immediately. Yeah, I see they're marching right for us, so, uh, that. And then I'm gonna spray fall over here. Keep an eye out for the frogs. Because they're heavy, t they're heavy armor types. They're gonna have really accurate, fast machine guns. Help me out, buddy. There's so many great here. I'm going to call this Michael Bay of the level. Dropping another bomber. And a sprite ball. Behind us. Yeah, next wave incoming. That was probably a bad place to drop your vehicle. That, that cannonball might blow it up. Maybe, if I let it. I'm going over to the other guys. Oh, yeah. Do I have room to sneak in a sprite ball? I do. And we'll send them all oh, right. down. Oh, right. No inertial jump. I brought the, uh, cannon. Careful, careful. Oh, okay, let me back yep. up a bit. I want to get my nicks out. 
We don't have any data on the types of aliens inside the landing vessels. Okay, time to drop another bomber. That was a huge mistake. That is a lot of cannonballs. The bigger they come, the harder the punch the grenades back. Keep your distance. I got this group. I'll take the other one. Do what I can to hold him back with our canes. Pick it up what I can. Because we got this mostly under control now. Yeah. It's funny how this is, in my opinion, easier than the spider one, if only because so many of the enemies do your work for you. That was like, what, five minutes of me just watching things explode? Get burned by the fire Again, now. Michael Bay, the level. You know what, I think the Armored Frogs might only be on Hardest, because I haven't seen any. I was about to say, where are they? Yeah, some missions on Hardest and Inferno do have new enemy types appear, or new waves entirely. This is probably one of them. Owies. The even last one, I'll tell you what. A lot of a lot of heals. Plenty of armor by me. I'm scooping it up. Zooming around and scooping up what I can. Yep. On that note, I am really hoping we get a PC announcement for World Brothers 2. I really would prefer to have it on PC. Ah, that one's that one. Please, cool. then it's streamable if you wanna. Ow. Checking for survivors. But you know. One armor over there. Be a coincidence. That's the only way this makes sense. <laughs> You're funny. Just got it. That's what the officer told us too. Yeah, he did. Yeah, Ops has noticed uh, strategic operators are saying, wait, why is this the guy who keeps surviving? Ooh, faster swing on my katana. I have a new More uh, ammo upgrade. and damage on my miniguns. Bomber KM6. That is a machine gun strafing type. Neat. Do I have what I hope I have yet? I forgot if I do or not. Checking my auto cannons. Okay, I do. Good. Gigantocopter. Because it's time to make some fried octopus. Yeah, we are going to have Cruel and Drop Pods. Now remember, Drop Pods themselves technically are not a threat. They don't even count towards mission completion, but they do drop loot when destroyed. 
That said, killing a drop pod before it's cruel or deployed will not damage the cruel, unfortunately. But yeah, point is, if there's if there's drop pods around that have not been blown up yet, consider blowing them up for the loot. I am bring. I am taking the approach of brother. Bring the flavor. Or, bring the flavor. The heavy flavor. In fact, I'm bringing two of them. Because I can. I need two points. Two points. Well. Double the heresy requires double the burn. You know, I find it that hilarious that every the start of every mission has me going, who caught a vehicle or oh that's just retro. We've got no intel on this opponent. Tank leader here. We're forming the wall. Here come the drop pods. It's an alien landing ship. The tanks will form a wall. Infantry should shoot from behind. All right, I'm about to bomb the area. I love this song. Careful. I may have bitten off more than I can chill. particular mission, Double Flamer may not have been the right choice. We probably should have brought a limpet gun. Make going around the shield here. I'm heading your way. Uh, everyone's kind of ignoring you. I'll see what I can do. The shields are depleted when you attack. I'm waiting for a bad Once the shield reaches its limit, it turns black. It essentially overheats and won't be able to... Just keep everyone busy. I got him. By the way, if you're looking to move quicker, don't forget about diagonal rolling. Move forward and left or right and just spam your jump buttons. That is actually the fastest movement tech you have as a narrator. So bullets can take them out. They're the same as the rest of them. Pulling up a drop pod for the same reason. And don't forget, the drop pods are worth loot. Just drop a whole bomber on a drop pod. No more drop pod. There we go. That's more like it. Let's see. I do not see any surviving drop pods. I think we got them all. Don't forget loot. We probably have another wave before this is over. Be the last one if you can for now. System repair complete. Another alien We're not. done and dusted. We're not done, I don't think. Did, did we get them all? Yeah, there's more coming. Not yet. Another enemy ship is approaching. Reloading. Here they come! Pods incoming! I'm about to drop a bomb on like two of them. Have fun, fellas! And let me see if I can get a third.
I can still hear her laughing through the dialogue. I love Sprite Ball Lady so much. Okay, let me back off for a bit. It's next time. Dropping coordinates confirmed. Hold your position. Tanks will be there soon. You know what it just occurred to me? Does shield stop piercing weapons? Yes. Darn. Thank you. Okay, someone's shooting at me. Yeah, the best tactic for a cruel is to bait them into stretching their shield arm out. And then you have an easy chance to cut it off while it's stretched. Okay, turns out this Nyx is actually pretty good at dealing with them. Ow. I'm over. I got him. I'm coming, right but it's going to be a little while. This Nyx does not jump. Is there another... Um... The allies have the, allies have the up, have the last one done. It's dusted. Oh wait, another one. Enemy ship releasing landing boats. I am suddenly very glad I'm in a mix because one of them's about to land on me. I can't stand this anymore. I'm gonna lose it. Push those aliens back. Bombing that one. You know, yeah, let me pop out for a moment. I'm going to drop bombs. I'm scared! They're coming for me! We're cursed! I'm telling you, we're cursed! Well, is down. Some of our soldiers are losing it. Just okay, now I got to get back anybody. in the mix. They have decided they do not like me. Thank you. Katana's pretty good on him, too!
Don't forget the drop pod. Such power. These aliens are superior life forms, all right. Let me see if I can get this a bomber must be on it. What it means to be a primer. There we go. We wouldn't last against this alien species in a drawn out battle. Oh, there's a bunch of them. We are currently strategizing. I'm going after them. Henceforth, we will call The good news is drop pods can't shoot back. The name of a mythical beast, huh? Don't give those things such an exaggerated title. It'll only scare the soldiers. Very right, like their stuff though. These aliens hold immense power. The battle is only uphill from here. Oh good, my sprite ball upgraded. Damn, no spine driver yet. Okay, so next up we have the Artillery Cruel variant. Their gimmick is Rapid Fire Plasma Mortars. Stay moving. I have a mobile hospital. Ah, you got the ambulance. So what are we dealing with? Artillery type cruel. Okay. While some carry shields, all the ones in this mission I'm pretty sure do not. But yeah, they are accurate. And because they fire their weapons mortar style, they can get you behind cover pretty easily. Stay on the move. As you can see, they are already firing at us. Bomber time. One hell of a weapon. The enemy is very accurate, so don't stand still. Keep moving. The enemy is using long range artillery. They can accurately hit a target up to 30 kilometers away. It is a weapon for attacking bases, but it's not suited to hit moving targets. Show them a thing or two about close range combat. Now that thing has bad guy written all over it. Are these the so-called cruels? I hope they were invincible. What do we do? Stay calm with and them until they don't get back up again. Okay, shoot the cruel the until it's dead. The cruels have started invading. We're engaging them at multiple locations. The troops are shaking at just the sound of their name. They're no gods. Their name has no meaning. Make sure the soldiers understand that. And eh? a name of something less intimidating. Oh. It's releasing a landing ship. More artillery via drop pod. Landing ship approaching. Aliens incoming. They're coming down. It's a demon. These two have 
Oh, these are the sniper variant. I forgot about them. Yeah, these guys have lightning snipers. Watch out. And they do have shields. You can tell if they're aiming at you, though, via laser sights. If you see a laser sight on you, move. Capabilities draw out the battle for as long as you can. Enemy ship detected. It's an enemy landing ship. I'll get a bomber on one or two of these things once I know they've deployed. Here they come. Surface unit, brace yourselves. Okay. Artillery unit confirmed. It's guarded by a convoy. They are all aggro from the get go. The enemy's weapon is powerful. Keep your distance. Actually, you'd be better off in close combat. Their weapon has range and power, but takes time between each shot to reload. Took a direct sniper hit. The strength of one's weapon alone doesn't determine the outcome of battle. Show them the reality of war. There we go. Disarmed and dead. For your retro. We've lost Alaska Phase Six to the crew. There we go. Took a. Uh, How does the enemy know about the underground facility? Took a glancing blow from that uh, last sniper shot, though. Only those knew about Phase Six. It even has a cloaking function. This base was only known to a select few, and it's impossible to spot from above. There's no way they would target it, unless they knew. How is the enemy getting their intel? If we don't figure that out, we cannot win this war. I read the spoiler guide. Yep. I just gave a cool, very bad day. They're playing New Game Plus 2 at this point. Kane is looking really good with that upgrade. All that's left is to max out the lock-on count. Hey, Death Race! We all remember this one, right? Uh, running around the city while dealing with swarms of the new android type. Oh. Only this time, uh... Look out! It's a spider... It's a Spider-Man robot! I have a cat staring at me. 
There you go. There you go. So yeah, we're about to meet the high mobility android. Or as I call it, the swinger. It's basically Spider-Man as a robot. That's a huge fleet. Trying to infest the town with monsters. Huh? Huh? Going out to bomb. Yeah, let's let like Kenway do its thing. Is this the second troop of the Earth Vision forces? Hostiles are raining down. Proceed with caution. Foot soldiers, don't stray too far from the tanks. Should have brought the machine guns instead of motors. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not a real fan of the mortar drone, honestly. I don't you mind. Almost... This... I don't sorry, mind God. this one because it's easy enough to set up. It's the one where you just fire a grenade and it spits at random. That's a bit troubling. At least I know what this one's gonna do. One small advantage of the mortar type, though, is that the closer it is from where it fires, the sooner it's ready to fire again. So if you can get decent with it at closer ranges, you can have it kind of going non-stop. Those androids are high mobility models. Relocate immediately. Those androids are bad news. Fall back. Team Delta is to the left. Link up with them. Sprite ball is good. We like Sprite ball. Yes, it is. Forget the tanks! Go! Even if it's operating well, it's good. That said, the swingers do have a fatal weakness of sorts. If you can hit them during a swing, it sends them, it ragdolls them and sends them flying. The way they're like, hey, stop ruining the architecture! We're ones to talk! I mean, there's no mincing it. We make the lovely angels look surgical. Someone thought it would be funny to knock my wire loose. No twitch, I do not want to send myself bits. That would be stupid. Send the bomber out. Group up, then fend them off together with Charlie. Charlie's just ahead. It's not safe, but I'm heading over.
<laughs> that was satisfying. I saw one get knocked, fl set fly, and I just jumped right through and cut it. Oh! Over there. Did you lose them? Good. Link up with Charlie. Must crack down on illegal immigrants. I knew this was the case. Don't take them yet, Lynn. Got people behind it. Oh! Gravis, Never mind. So enjoy this allied deck. You're never gonna see it again. It's usually like this one mission, and that's it. Can we get a giant mech at any point? A few. Though the Gravis is unfortunately a DLC one. It looks really cool, mind you. The Furious definitely gives me Battletech vibes, though. You'll understand when you see it. Do, do we get legally distinct ambulatory armor Gundarn? Sadly, we do not get a Gundam. Boo. Oh. Not until next week. Grouping up with Charlie. Here's where we make our stuff. You guys are with me. We make our defenses yeah, that's the Gravis. It's the heavy variant. It's a gravis powered exoskeleton. The armor's top of enemies. It's gonna explode in like five seconds, isn't it? Nope. Enemy ship passing through. I'd say the closest thing to a Gundam would probably be the heaviest of the mechs you get that's not the uh Barga, that being the uh, BMX-10 Proteus line. There's one small problem Back with the Proteus now. Drop in your ordinates. The Proteus requires four people to operate fully. Because they have a pilot seat and three gutter seats. I mean, if we can do that at some point, that would actually be kind of awesome. Oh, yeah. The other new, the other new mech line, which is brand new to EDS six, would be the Aaron, the Irene line, or Aaron. It's a uh, laser variant. Specializes in hit scan lasers. And because they're a constant beam type, they're good for both long range and for just locking something down. What's up, all you can? Yep. There wasn't everything here. It's gone now. I still think it was clever how they they basically managed to use the time loop as a way to reuse missions, but they remix them enough that it's going to be something new each time. Like this time, instead of a bunch of kamikazes, we got a bunch of robotic Spider-Man. We just don't call them spiders because that would be confusing as hell. That's why I call them swingers. Whoops! Oh yeah, like the regular Android model, you can deflect their wire attack with a weapon if you can time it. I got some breathing space to do missile support. Uh, 
shield up. This is the last wave, so yeah, we got this. First up now, but... Yep. Remember, you can't swing from the buildings if there's no buildings. Indeed. If the enemy is only the swinger type, it can be to your advantage to simply get rid of architecture to limit their mobility. But that damages the architecture. We need to think of something. One must keep in mind, though, buildings can be both a help and a hindrance, depending on the enemy type. In many cases, buildings are a good way to slow the enemy's advance. The mech survived. Nice. Ooh, got some upgrades. What do we got? More damage on my katana. Oh, that's the Heidel, not the Arcane Launcher. Sad. Well, more katana damage is more katana damage. Oh, this one is gonna be rough, fair warning. This is gonna be very much a, uh, choose your battles carefully. Red starfish. The five-pointed drones with the with lasers. We now can deal with a red variant. My recommendations? Avoid explosives. This is a mission where we need the buildings for cover from their shots. Bring something long-range and hard-hitting. Okay, so let me see. For an Olympic sniper to play it safe. Would lock on missiles be helpful? Because I do have a self propelled missile launcher. Unfortunately, no, because you only get one lock per target with these guys, and we don't want to engage multiple whenever possible. There is a crazy strategy we could try here, but it would require either a card or fan to work in tandem with me. Are either of you willing to give up a weapon to give me the ability to launch a devastating preemptive strike on these things? Well, you know what? Because I can't seem to, because it sounds like I can't really use any of my bombers. I'm willing to swap one out. I have my sniper and my multi-helicopters right now. What do you okay. need to bring? Laser guide. Okay, I have a laser guide kit. Okay. If you want the high-speed version. Uh, which one gives us the most range? Lock on range 5x, lock on... It's projection range, right? Yeah, well, lock on range is how much it boosts my lock on range by. Okay, that would be the high speed, because that's 5x. The laser guide kit's only three. Bring the high speed model, then. I'll keep the Nyx. I'm probably not going to summon any vehicles. Yeah, we're going to try something crazy here. Both of us need to bring that gun in? No, just one of you does. And I've got it. Because basically, with this setup, because the thing is, these are all going to be dormant. They are not going to be active until we attack them, and most importantly, they will not be moving until we attack them. They are stationary. And with, with a double Leviathan, uh, 
I can deliver a preemptive strike of 9,000 damage. This is like the one time I can think of where a preemptive Leviathan strike could actually be really good. Needless to say, we only engage the ones that are currently flying. D avoid engaging others. So I have the kid out. I guess I'm supposed to shoot you. No, what you're going to do is once we're in range of the target, you're going to paint it for me. Okay. You will not actually do anything actively by doing this. What's going to happen is my missiles are going to then go after whatever your laser is pointed at. And I am carrying portable nukes. Let me know when you're in position. I have a power force for you. If I can find it. That's who I want us to hit first. Let me go get a clear line of sight. Where are you? I am up on top of a roof. In oh, order to have a good line of sight. My post can't probably hit you then. They've got pretty good range, actually. Do I need to hit anything specific or just paint it in general? Paint it. Yeah, I've, I've got a I'm buff. on it. Okay. I'm on them. Okay, keep it steady. Firing! Keep that laser steady. Yeah, I saw the squares turn red. You must have a lock. Yep, the missiles are in the air and on the way. Let's see what happens. It just went boom. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it's recovering from that. It's dead! Oh my god, that was satisfying. Someone clipped that. That is the first time I have ever done a Leviathan hey. strike. Hey, I see one up ahead I can go get. Uh, hold that thought, hold that thought. Uh, yeah, okay. That one's closer. It's I'm on him. Power laser and reinforced armor. Infantry may have trouble taking it. Firing! So what do we do? We don't have many records of Yeah, Leviathans are not practical in active combat, but they are extremely strong as a preemptive strike. Look at that thing fly. Okay, there's a couple near us. Mark one. Oh, I didn't know you were moving. Just wasted my power pole. Sorry about that. We're trying to find the best angle to hit the next one from. Because, like... Some of them are going to be linked, though, so we're not going to be able to single kill every one of them. But this will at least give us a big head start. All right. I've got my sight on it. Okay, give me a moment. See if I can get it tagged. I'm not close enough yet. Not yet. I gotta get closer. I've got, I've got it. it. I've got tone. Firing. This is hilarious. Leviathan's inbound. The other one did not hit. He popped up too soon. Let me get the sniper out. It's dead. I got it. Uh, boom. My, my snipers will kill it. One over here? Another one. Oh, another one woke up. Yeah, I see it. Remember, Sniping. aim for the central orb. And watch out when it stops moving. It's gonna fire and it's gonna hurt. Okay, it's it. down. But high performance means production. Hang another on, one woke you. up. There's another one fighting. I suspect the high grade type three requires time to charge before using any advanced functions. There we go. Sending the drones after it. And remember, be careful where you hit them. If it flies near other enemies and you hit it there, it will wake them up. They basically send an aggro alert to anything nearby every time they're hit. Not just when they first wake up. Okay, it's down. Got it. Hey, where are you? Oh, yeah. mm, that maybe one? not that one. That Those guys are too clustered. 
Too risky. There? Yeah, that guy. That guy's more isolated. Wait. Okay, that's a corpse. Hold on, before firing. Let me get in here. Reloading first. Gotta get closer. Oh, careful, okay. there are two there. Okay, so, noted. So be ready for another one after we hit this one. I, I'm just scouting out ahead. Oh, I got yeah. You. Um, there's one down there. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, I see him. You want to go for the upper one? Yeah, go for the upper one. I have it. I have ping and firing. Look at what boost this gives them. I'm curious, the power post. I mean, five, five k, five k. Drone down. The other one just woke up. And a third. Three of them. Keep moving. If they start shining in your direction, take cover. They can't bring down buildings. Use those. He got me. Okay, one's down. Uh, That's one. Another drone bites the dust. Excuse me, I see some much needed stuff nearby. And I just saw the other go boom. So this is a high Hi there. Type three. Yep, this is the last one. Just give me a moment, I'm grabbing some stuff. In fact, do a loop check. Yep. Loot and heal. We might be able to missile it, depending on how good you are, Karn. You don't need to keep your laser on it. Instead, what we need to do... Oh, she's going to hit me. I basically ping a spot. You aim at it. We use that as... You aim, my mis you aim your laser there. And then once my missiles fly, you proceed to redirect them. I'm aiming at something, you better be quick. Yeah. Get ready. Aim for the drone. Uh, he keeps moving. I'm on him. That's a hit. How much was it this time? Uh, I'm just going to send a cop. Is it? Oh, never mind, he's dead. Yeah, he took 45 from one hit. He was about to die. That's the other tactic for using Leviathans, is aim at a fixed point, and then after the defensor launches, you then start aiming at the real target. But the thing is, like, you know how most lock-on weapons have a pretty big lock-on sight? I don't know how many times you've seen the lock-on sight used in this. The lock-on area for the Leviathan is about the size of a regular crosshair. So, working with an air raider to lock onto a moving target is extremely difficult, if not near impossible. See, says sheep, says by the seesaw. Let me double check the enemy list here. 
standard drones, cruel transport ships, shock spiders, pill bugs. And a boss we cannot damage. It was kind of cool to finally get to use the Leviathans, though. Because, <laughs> yeah, a fencer cannot use those solo. They have to have an air raider supporting them. Oh, that's a little we annoying. To approach the enemy. Well, you saw what they did! Oh, yeah, that was a thing that happened. They didn't even pay attention to us. Good. Attack those teleportation ships. Take down as many for strategic reasons. If our operation succeeds, we might be able to thwart their plan. This is going to be our case of enemies are not, uh, enemies are in standby, so got to pick our battles. Okay, let me bomber those. The enemy didn't know it hit him. Let's get to the next target. Again, Sprite Ball Lady scares me. I love her. Let's get some of these flyers out of here. Very glad I brought my co attack copters. Shock spiders incoming! Look out! Here comes the spiders, man! Up on this one. Yeah, I'm not going that way. Down here. Get. Not good. Bad combo. Pillbug and Shock Spider. Bad combo. I can point and get to you, lad, because on my end it says you fell through the map. Oh, fine. Look, a primer mobile base. It's walking. The base is walking. 
Oh, is it one of those? Hmm? One of what? So I remember I think it was five had the giant bases. Yep, it's one of those. We cannot kill it. Do your best to avoid it support fire. Oh, I got you. Welcome back. Hey. Hello. That was dead. Kill bugs. Have fun! God, I love Strife Ball Lady. Destroy the mobile base. Take down the teleportation ships first. God of Light can eradicate everything, including gods. <laughs> oh! Why, hello there. Wing Diver, join the strike team. There we go. Might be coming to a conclusion soon. That's adorable. We're not even halfway into this. Shotgun type fool. They they fire delayed explosion uh, plasma. Think Halo's plasma grenades because they fire out like a shotgun first. Then they stick to you. Then they violently explode. I think I'm... Yeah, I gotcha. Thank you. Okay, just stuff. a couple flyers left. Hold up. Yeah, do a loot check. It looks like all the allies are dead, so just dodge it, grab stuff. Yeah, I see uh We have time. I see a weapon over there. I see. I'm on that one. I see a big cluster in this direction. I can't tell what it is, but I do see a lot of green on the radar.
Yeah, we're just keeping it busy on the beach here. Fun on the beach. That's health over there, so that doesn't matter. I don't know if it's grabbing any health near me, so it's not on the radar now. That might not be a terrible idea. Since we know we're not gonna need it at this point. Oh, I do. I think I see a weapon. Oh, I think Len's got it. Grabbing Len's health got it. In case car. Yeah, I'm looking. I see some weapons and armor. Yep. Some over there. The one. That there's two, I see him. I think I just see a couple little dots left and then two of them are held. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Wow, he actually survived that. The bloody knocked it. No. This is a record-breaking victory. I'd never expect us to defeat the enemy ships with such few people. Storm one, baby. We're storm one and we get shit done. Ooh, new Gallic. 30 millimeter Mark II. Oof, not the best stats, though. Well, we'll have to give it time. I want guns, Vegeta. Yeah. Quick BRB. So, androids, heavy androids, grenadiers, and cyclops. If you're hearing a weird noise right now, that's because the dog is snoring. Noted.
Okay. And remember, in order to do full damage with Cyclops, even if you damage his armor, you still gotta hit it right in the eye for full damage. This is all we could scrounge up. Just look at we can hope for any help. Now remember, the bigger the enemy is, the more aggro it draws. So when hitting a group, if there's a big enemy in the group, consider not hitting that guy first. Oh, they're coming. Who is that android? It's a giant android. Oh geez, we got two more Cyclops inbound. I saw. I, I fired a glow spear and it appeared behind me. Danger. Get behind me! I'm dead. <laughs> oh. I brought a shield to deal with the brunt of these things, so I can take some hits. Didn't mean to grab that. Trying to save that for after I rest. Oh. Let's get a nuke out. I confirm dropping coordinates. Now I'll try and get to land. Yeah, I'm way over here. Yep. I I am on the border of the map. Literally. Yeah, you flung yourself good. Owies. Raise up your voices in a battle cry. Form up and advance on them. All right, I'm trying to get over to you guys. I am in a mix. Just Yay! give me an hour or two. <laughs> Hold it off on engaging. Play on he is. I'm ready. Tell you what, Mark, when you want me to start marching towards. Oh, hey, there's the mean bar. Bar all your base.
Uh, if we're gonna hit one, hit that one. So it's uh. probably gonna pull another one at least. I will survive. Hey, let's go. I'm ready. Keep your guard up. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, here to go. Heavy gun out. Red fire tire, but I am not in a condition to fight it. Let's get out of here real quick. Oh, far all your base. There you're right. There you go. There I go. Got grenades handling it. Not the plan, but he's gone now. Ooh, weapons. Definitely could use a hand here. Give me with the bigger one. I'll try and keep these guys off as long as I can then, but that's not going to be for very long. In fact, it's, I'm dead. I think I can get to you. See the last one up. Yeah, I particularly hate that model because it is really hard to dodge. And it's kind of hard to take cover from, but it can just climb up buildings. Get ready to run. Oh, I see some exposed head. Okay, now I can at least interrupt the bastard. He's the last one. Yep, we got everything though, pretty much. Okay. There's like two armors here. They're gone now. Game, Justin. We're done here. We'll now be calling the giant androids by the name Cyclops, a one-eyed beast. Now everyone will know that its eye is its weakness. You know who figured out its eye is its weakness? Nobody.
So the next mission is all pill bugs, and What's it's indoors. All pill bugs. Yep, it's a cave. Uh, yeah, all my stuff just switched off. Yep, it's drone. It's drone time and uh, depth crawler time. It's nice they gave the air raider options, but whenever I get whenever I get the air support shut off, my loadout always feels so weird and redundant. Actually, wait, wait, I just realized what I'm doing wrong. Give a metal shot or buck shot? Yeah, they taking were... an iron shot. Yep. Yeah, ricochet will be pretty effective down here. I don't have my own signature ricochet weapon yet, so I'm bringing many guns. Rendezvous with your team. I just hope you're as good as they say. It's good to know you're here. Let's go. Hey there, Chief. Don't aggro them, let me blow them up first. Oh yeah, I should have brought copters. They're actually kind of nice in here. Alright. You got first shot, fam. Give one now. Be careful. These are hard to handle. I definitely do not recommend going into that cave. I recommend luring him out and luring him to the tunnel where we can choke him. Sorry, the bluntness of that was just hilarious. Right. Right. We're gonna die. Very uplifting speech, sir. Under control. To wipe everything out. Is gonna be
Hello up there. Hi. Shame I can't just stand yeah, up there. Yeah, you can't really stay up there. Sorry. No, that'd be nice. Yeah, it'd be cool if you could actually ride on vehicles properly. Maybe later I'll get something with a gunner seat. Something behind us still. I'll leave the right to you. There you are. It's too dangerous to go deeper with Gamma still around. Eliminate all monsters in the area. That's useful. Nicely done. There are more than I thought in here. This cave is dangerous. Guess that's it. What's that sound? No. Nope. Something's coming. Hey, they're behind me. Tremors detected. It's likely a pack of gammas. Gammas coming. Get ready. And these gammas are aggro. Bombing. Yeah, back away. I'm in my shot, but now I'm oh. one behind. I'm moving in to grab the loot. I'm empty. There's like one guy way behind us. Lacy dicey. And now he's dead. First phase complete. Top floor under control. We'll be going to the center floor EDF, after taking EDF. a break. Roger that. Underground again? Yep. Multiple underground missions. Okay. Now to do something I may yet come to regret. I'm bringing the gigacopter with me. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, we're we're not at level fifteen yet. We yeah, shock spiders, androids, grenadiers. I 
don't see the captain's group. Maybe they're dead already. Be aware of your surroundings. I've got a bad feeling about this. This is bad! Yes. We've been trapped! Monsters! Yes! They're coming from this way, too! And from over there! Classic Ant Cave ambush. Surrounded on all sides. And they're all aggro. Reinforcements won't make it in time. You'll have to keep yourself safe. Let's try something. Not that close! Oh, okay. I knew it. Androids. So they were here on the center floor. Yeah, okay, this kind of works. I think it's safe to assume they're carrying out some sort of plan. If that's the case, we got lucky finding this place. But they're ready for us. We're in their stronghold. They're gonna put up a tough fight. I'm only back. Another wave incoming! Grenadiers! They've got grenades equipped. Destroy the yellow orbs before they get close. Send you bomb. Reloading. Got me. Hang on, buddy. That said, I uh I think the guy in copter did some revenge for me. Yeah, classic. Up you go. Alright, let's get out of here. Reload. Yeah, copter's on the move. Back up. Loaded and ready. That's better. Got a couple stragglers trying to sneak up on us. Phase complete. We're passing through the center floor and infiltrating the bottom. But what about the captain? Headed to the bottom floor. No need to worry. Damn it! Does he think he's gonna beat us there? Oh, didn't see it. One more cave level, then we're out of the cave. You know what? Let's do the cave mission then. I think we call it after that. We might want to do the one after that only because of what it, it's, it's going to be a boss fight. We'll see, because it's almost 1040 here. Fair enough. It's a good fight, though.
All right, this one's gonna be a whole smorgasbord. Hurry up! We're getting there first. Elite ants, teleporters, shock spiders, hornets, king shock spider. Looks like you're Be careful, this room's an ambush. Don't go too far yeah, in. I'm gonna fire a cop. Stay in. Yeah, these these few black ants are just bait. There's also water down below, so if you, if you fall in, you're gonna be pretty much defenseless until you get to solid ground. So be very careful in here. Teleporters! Mommy! Nope, 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 nope. I barely saved myself. That almost got stupid. Reload! Load it! I think that's all the teleporters. One trick when you're fighting in a cave is the teleporters typically make a part of the wall glow when you when they're still around. So if you see any brighter parts in the cave, there's probably a teleporter in there. So fight it and kill it. Sounds good. Best only to use a counter counters if it, if it's a group. Yeah, this 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 cave is basically ambushes. Just lots of ambushes. The good news is the uh, small teleporters or bug hills, as I call them, can be shot anywhere to take them out. You don't need to aim anywhere specific. Just hit them. Okay, let's let's just send a surprise into this room. Shock spiders and an active teleporter. I'm going for the teleporter. Hover's already dead. No, it's Hover's not. Dead. Oh, now it is. No, it's still alive. Now it's dead. That one had a lot of health. Unfortunately, now I have no health. You can actually grab drops that's in the water. Only if they're not too far in. Bombing more, that tele yeah, yeah, I'm sending copters over to it. I think we got it. Yeah, you did. Send him. Hornets! Fortunately, they're nicely grouped up. Yeah, they don't have a lot of room to maneuver in here. Take advantage. Alright, tell one's down. Hornet teleporter is down. Oh, we got another one. Yeah, I'm aiming at it now. Sending the cop. It's dead. It's dead. 
Here comes the Strox Fighter Teleporter. Reloading. It's That's down. A kill. Teleporter's down. We're not done yet. Nothing but traps down here. I thought they pulled back from here. Bombing. Yeah, I'm sending copters over. I got this one. Reloading. I already got And quick kills. King Shock! King Shocker! How can you do that? Over. Getting eliminated. Okay, we got the teleporter. We'll got a live teleporter in there somewhere. No, wait, we got it. There's a whole wall of them. Uh, in RPG got them. If we can get any of the stuff in the shallows here. Yeah, there's like one guy left. That's not actually. That's just the mission end flag once we approach it. Ah. I'm gonna see if I can actually get this stuff in the water. I think we're near the deepest area. Don't let your guard down. We're monitoring the feed from here. This mission is a success if you can figure out what's down there. Yeah, I can reach stuff in the lake if I use my jump to splash down to the bottom. Yoink. Yeah, you'll wish it was treasure. Hold on, car. Okay. Lake. So they were hiding this underground lake? What's going on here? Hold on, Sil. There's nothing else to fight. We're done. Yeah, we're all here. Let's move. We don't actually fight this thing. It's an event flag. Yeah, I was wondering if you're going collecting stuff or not. Oh, yeah, I am. Hi, definitely not Parthenax. Monster level big. It's all about being the Dragonborn. It's too dangerous. There's no telling what could happen if this thing goes berserk underground. Get some distance and be careful. So yeah, that's the next boss. Is it trying to get to the surface? You might notice wind pressure. It can push you back. Yeah, I'm kind of going on a little trip here. This creature is capable of flight. It'll be hard to track if it gets out. It just did get out, command. Len, how'd you get all the way up there? 
they fly? Didn't think they could go that high. But yeah, that is the Sorry, siren. Taking for a good distance. You want to find it before we wrap up? Now nah, let's save it for next week. It's almost ten fifty, and I am starting to feel it. Okay. Okay. Oh, All right, let's go find someone to pester. Well, it looks like Sarah Lene is doing uh, co-op Secret of Evermore. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go over there. Meanwhile, tomorrow I would have been starting a new game, except I kind of, sort of, blundered my way into another collab. <laughs> oh, what collab is that? I'm going to be playing uh, Borderlands 2 with somebody. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, that'll be starting at 9 tomorrow, a little later, but uh, meanwhile, what I was going to start, I'm going to be doing that on Tuesdays for now, because I do want to get started on that. So, yeah, tomorrow, later than usual, Borderlands 2. Alright, thanks for, for stopping by, and uh, hopefully see you then. Later. Later.